Welcome back, I'm Tony. In this second of six videos, we're going to discuss the principles of answering the customer's questions. So the three principles are this, quickly, confidently, and to the customer's satisfaction. Let's dive into each one and break them down. Quickly, what does quickly mean? It means now. It does not mean, let me go talk to my manager, let me go look it up, let me get your phone number and I'll call you back. It means now. Are you prepared to answer the customer's top five questions on the spot? We know what they are, now we just have to have the answers. If you're not prepared, then you need to get that information to answer these questions or have technologies and tools in place to be able to answer those questions quickly. The second area is confidently. Are you confident in your answer? Is your demeanor, is your sound, your tone of your voice, are you looking them in the eye? Are you confident in the answer? Or are you hemming and hawing about the answer? Uh, I don't know, uh, let me check with somebody, uh, I'll have to get back with you. What is your answer? Is Are you confident in your answer? There's a big difference between saying, uh, I don't know, I'll have to look it up, and saying, I don't know. You cannot know the answer to the question and be confident in your response. You don't have to be sheepish. Principle number three is to the caller's satisfaction. Are you able to answer the question to their satisfaction and or how do you know when they're satisfied with the answer? Now listen to what I said to their satisfaction, not yours, not uh, your, your bosses, not your fellow salesperson, not your neighbor, not your mortgage holder, not your wife. But you're looking to answer the customer's questions so that they're confident and that they accept the answer that you've given them. So in the next video, we're going to see how these three principles of answering questions cascades across the entire spectrum of answering the customer's questions. So in video number three, we're gonna cover the first category, which is availability. Is it still there? I'll see you in the next video.